Most people are familiar with Google, the easy to use searching platform. However, some people are not aware that Google also has Google Scholar, a way to search for scholarly research online. Why should you use Google Scholar? One reason is that Google Scholar provides an extremely simple way to search for scholarly information, especially if you're not affiliated with a library. Google Scholar indexes things such as articles, books, theses, journals, patents, academic publishers, case law, and institutional repositories. Google Scholar does not index non-scholarly organizations, commercial websites, or information from corporations. It is important to remember that not all material included in Google Scholar is scholarly. Some items are included just by the nature of the website they came from, such as .edu websites and institutional repositories. To conduct a search on Google Scholar, simply type in your search term and select the magnifying glass to begin your search. By conducting our search, we are able to see the results that Google Scholar has on my topic. You can look on the far left-hand side to see the ways you can refine your search. In the middle is the search results, and then on the far right you can see what items are available for free online or through your library. You have options on the side for refining your search. You can do it by date, including a custom range. You can sort by relevance or by date. You can view any type of article or review articles. You also can include patents and citations. Now by going up and clicking the three little bars, we also can conduct an advanced search. This can be helpful if you want to add additional limiters to your search to further refine what you're seeing in your results page. These limiters are much more restricted than what you're going to see if you're searching in a library database, but they can be helpful tools. Another way to improve your search results is by using appropriate search terms as well as Boolean operators. Boolean operators can be a useful tool when conducting a search in either a library database or Google Scholar. Popular terms include and, or, and not. Now let's look at some examples. If we search depression and sleep, we're going to see articles that specifically mention both terms. Now if we do depression or sleep, we're going to see results for either one, so some for depression or the term sleep. Another option is depression not sleep. This will result in articles that deal with depression but do not include the term sleep in their results. In this example, you can see I've searched depression and sleep and the results reflect this additional term. Let's take a closer look at what is included with each citation. We have the direct link to the article as well as basic citation information. Below the record, you can see information to save, cite your source in various formats, who cited this article, related articles, versions that are available, the full view, and cached information. If the full text of the item does not appear to be available, look below and select Library Search. This will enable you to do a World Cat search, which searches the World Library Catalog. Let's take a few moments to discuss how you can link your library to Google Scholar when conducting your search on or off campus. First, you will select the three little bars in the upper left-hand corner, then select Settings. Once on Settings, select Library Links. Then you will want to make sure to search your library by name in the search box, and then select Save. If you're on campus, there's a good chance your library is already saved, but this is a great addition when you're working off campus. Google Scholar is an excellent option, but remember, some content is only available through paid subscriptions. Created using Powtoon.